How to open DLL files in Visual Studio. Have you ever wondered how to open and work with DLL files in Visual Studio? These dynamic link library files are essential for many Windows programs, but they aren't your average text files. Let's dive into how you can open, read, and even edit them using Visual Studio. First, you need to understand what a DLL file is. It's a library that contains code and data that multiple programs can use. This makes your programs more efficient by not having to include all the code within each program. To open a DLL file in Visual Studio, you have a few methods to choose from. One of the most common ways is to use the full version of Visual Studio installed on your computer. Start by downloading and installing Microsoft Visual Studio if you haven't already. Make sure your computer meets the system requirements for running the program. Once you have Visual Studio installed, open the folder where your DLL file is located. Right-click the DLL file and select Export to Project to move it into Visual Studio. This will allow you to view and edit the code within the DLL file. Visual Studio can automatically convert the code into c -sharp, even if it was written in a different language initially. Another option is to use Visual Studio Online. This is great if you don't want to download the full version of Visual Studio. Open your web browser and go to the Visual Studio Online website. Sign in or create a Microsoft account if you don't already have one. Once logged in, you can upload your DLL file to Visual Studio Online and read or edit it there. If you prefer using a decompiler, that's another viable method. A decompiler takes the compiled code in the DLL file and converts it back into readable code. Download and install a decompiler like .peak, then open the DLL file in the decompiler. Use the Assembly Explorer to browse through the nodes of the DLL file and double-click on any node to see the code for it. You can even export this code to Visual Studio for further editing. When working with DLL files in Visual Studio, you might need to debug them. Since you can't run a DLL file directly, you need to call it from another project, usually an executable file. Open the project for the calling app, start debugging, and set a breakpoint in the DLL code. When the breakpoint is hit, you can step through the code to see what's happening at each line. For more advanced debugging, you can use the immediate window in Visual Studio. This window lets you evaluate DLL functions or methods at design time without needing a calling app. Just open the immediate window, instantiate an object of the class you're interested in, and you can test methods directly. So whether you're using the full version of Visual Studio, Visual Studio Online, or a decompiler, you have multiple ways to open, read, and edit DLL files. Each method offers different benefits, so choose the one that best fits your needs.